In this session, we will upgrade Oracle 18C grid infrastructure to Oracle 19C version. So let us see the checklist for upgrading the grid infrastructure to Oracle 19C. First, you need to create a home directory for Oracle 19C grid infrastructure. So you must create a home directory where you will be installing grid infrastructure 19C on both the nodes. So let us go to each node and uh, create the home directory. I'm on the first node and uh, on the first node, we'll create a home directory, something like this, user one app, 19, grid. Reader on app 1900 grid and uh, the owner ownership should be grid and uh, group is o install and uh, permissions 775 user on app 19 grid and uh, create on second node also, go to second node. Change the ownership to grid user. So we install. All right, so we have created the home directory uh, on both nodes. Then ensure at least uh, 30 GB free space in the data disk group. So let us see, currently our disk group, we are using only one disk group named data. And uh, let us see how much disk space is there. If required, we'll add uh, uh, more space to the data disk group. We can use ASMCA to do this. I will switch to grid user and uh, start ASMCA from user one app 18 grid bin. So if required a set environment variable display equal to I think we had uh, less free space in the data disk group during database creation also. Uh, it was uh, pointing that. So let us see the data disk group. Total size is around uh, 35 GB. Free space is only 7.3 GB. So what we will do, we have some unused ASM disks around three disks. We will add them to this disk group. Uh, that way we are adding more space to this disk group. So right click on this disk group, select the disk group, right click and say add a disks. We still have three more ASM disks available. Uh, if you could recollect, uh, we have created a 10 ASM disks for the shared storage and used only seven to create that disk group earlier. So now we are going to add these remaining three also to the disk group. Save OK.
All right, now you can see the free space has been added. So we now have around 22.26 GB free space in the data disk group out of uh, nearly 49.96 GB size. So hopefully this should be good enough for our upgrade purpose. So let us continue with the checklist. Unset environment variables that are pointing that are set to the older version of the grid infrastructure. So in our environment, of course, we didn't set any variables. So if you have set uh, variables, uh, you ensure those are unset because we are now going to upgrade to a newer version. Your environment variables must not be set to older version. So just to ensure we do not have any uh, environment variables set for grid user or root user or Oracle user uh, in our environment. All right, next. Verify if you need to apply any mandatory patches for the upgrade to succeed. This is very important step. In fact, we have already applied the mandatory patch during grid infrastructure installation. After installing grid infrastructure software on the database software, in the previous session, we have applied one mandatory patch, uh, which is required to upgrade grid infrastructure to 910C. So this, this is the uh, slide that uh, shows you different uh, patches when you upgrade from different versions. Our target is we are upgrading from 18C, 18C to 19C. So look at the first row, 18C, from release 18C, what patch is required? 28553832, which we have applied already in the previous session. So that way, we have already applied the mandatory patch. So now we are ready for upgrading the grid infrastructure to 19C. So these are the steps to follow. Uh, as grid user, you need to create that uh, home directory, which we have already created. Then you need to extract the newer version of the grid infrastructure software. That is the 19C version of the grid infrastructure. Then after extracting, you just have to uh, execute grid setup.sh and uh, choose upgrade Oracle grid infrastructure option and respond to on-screen prompts and complete the upgrade process. So let us do this. The first step, uh, we have created uh, the home directory and we just have to extract the software under that. So I am on node one and uh, I have downloaded a grid infrastructure 19C under user one app user one stage 19c i have already downloaded and uh, staged under user one stage 19c directory so you can see here there is a zip file we just have to unzip this uh, where under the home directory of the new version of grid infrastructure so let us unzip this All right, you can see now the extraction has been completed. So let us change to, you have to extract only on one node. So now let us change to the new home directory, which is a 19C home directory for a grid infrastructure where we extracted and uh, execute grid setup.sh All right, now the Oracle, Un <coughs> Oracle University installer has been started. 
which will automatically detect the older version of grid infrastructure <coughs> and uh, prompt you to upgrade the older version to newer version. So default upgrade Oracle grid infrastructure is selected and uh, make sure uh, that option is selected. Click next. Now ensure both nodes are detected and selected and uh, uh, click next. On the next screen, just uh, click next and uh, Oracle base directory. We are using the old base directory as it is. Alternatively, you could have created a, a new base directory and uh, specified that. Uh, so if you want, you can create a now also. If you don't want to use the world based directory which is user on app grid you can create something like user one app uh, uh, grid 19 c something like that otherwise you can continue with the uh, world uh, based directory home directory must be different base directory could be same or a different one so i will continue with the <coughs> old base directory and the software location it has automatically selected 19 c version Now root scripts execution, check automatically run configuration scripts and provide the root password. Click next. Now on this uh, screen, uh, you can upgrade in batches. The default uh, batches are fine. Click next. All right, now you can see a uh, few checks have failed or warning status. These are expected in lab environment. These are, one is related to ACFS driver and the second is related to DNS. We can just uh, ignore them. Uh, click, uh, check the ignore all and uh, click next and say yes. Now that's it. Uh, the summary page before upgrade starts you can review all the options and uh, before upgrading i just want to show you the current version of grid infrastructure that we have installed uh, you can use a query like this uh, user one yeah from the older version of grid infrastructure grid uh, bin or from newer version also you can query this uh, let us query from the older version because it is already set up so you can execute the crsctl query crs software version hyphen all so this command would show you the oracle clusterware version 
on both the nodes. It is 18C version. After upgrading, we will query that and uh, see that uh, it will be 19C version. So just to show you the currently installed version before upgrade. All right, so with that, now let us uh, submit this, which will start the upgrade process. So you can see the upgrade uh, has started and uh, it will take some time and I will pause the video here and come back once the upgrade is done. So you have to accept for root uh, script execution, say yes. All right, now you can see the grid infrastructure upgrade has been completed as successfully. This message is expected. Uh, once the upgrade is done, cluster verification utility will check once again. So whatever checks have failed before upgrade will again fail after upgrade also. But otherwise in the background, you can see all the tasks have been completed successfully. The last task, cluster verification, utility task has failed, which is under configure Oracle grid infrastructure for a cluster uh, main task. So, uh, so this is expected. You can just uh, say, okay, uh, your upgrade is done successfully. So click next and uh, click yes. and close. That's it. So now you can verify, in fact, uh, this uh, upgrade uh, by executing uh, CRSCTL command. So before upgrading, we have verified the software version. Now after upgrading, uh, again, if you run this, now it is clearly showing Oracle Clashware ver uh, version is 19C on both nodes. And another uh, observation is, if you grab for Clusterware processes, they will be now running from new home, new version home, that is 19 home. If you say grab a d.bin, these are all running from 19 home. So that's it. This concludes the Oracle grid infrastructure upgrade. In the next session, we will upgrade the database to 19C.